Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to A Better Biomed. Today I have a unique kit that I just seen on Amazon and I had to buy it because it solves a problem that I have with an existing toolkit. So let's go ahead and see what comes in the package. All right. This automatically is a cool kit because it comes with a handle all in one with instructions. Look at that. I like that. I'm going to keep that. And the tools. So this is a wire fair rule kit. And this one comes on uh, Amazon. The reason that I got this is because it comes with the tools in the kit. I can't express to you what a pain the other kits that are sold on Amazon are because you'll have a um, little like tackle box organizer with all these little things. And when you open it, they all kind of want to booger off. But look at this, this one here, we can take it out if that's the size that we're going to be working with and um, we can close it back up. So nothing's going to get lost. I dig it. And the cool thing is wire fair rules are such a specialized item. It's something that you place on a wire, like right here, and then you crimp it down. And what it does is it creates a durable, permanent connection. Um, kind of like what you see right here. These are pins that I depinned from a connector, but that does the same exact thing. They take all your fibers and they put them together and then it crimps down and there's a, a semi-rigid out, outer sleeve. And what it's really meant for is whenever you connect wires into a device, like these type of screw down terminals, which you see right here on this block, there are so many applications for this, but um, really what you're doing is you're putting all the conductors and you're crimping them into a sleeve so that when you put it in here and you screw it down, normally when you just twist wires and, and screw them in, some of the fibers will kind of splinter off to the side. Now those are not current carrying conductors because they're off to the side. So you're putting all your current into less surface area. So by putting them all into a sleeve, crimping the sleeve, now you are putting all the current into all of the wire strands at once. So let's go ahead and take a look what comes in the kit. We have a variety of different wire gauges and, and a lot of connectors. I, hundreds of connectors, it looks like, for each size. And watch, I'll probably never fit them in again. I've got a nice nickel plated set of ratcheting crimpers. I like that. And one of the reasons I really like this kit is because, wow, although this guy's a little bit stiff, it comes also with a wire stripper that also has uh, other type of terminal crimps on the back. This is probably one of the better set of strippers and it comes with the ratcheting crimper all in one kit. I know if I grab this kit, I have everything I need to handle wiring. It's crazy because between this tool and this tool, I'm good to go. So let's go ahead and do some of that right now. I have some, what is this, 20 gauge? Eh, let's take a look. I think it's probably 20 gauge. Yeah, might be 18. No, it's 20. Okay, so we strip the wire back. And according to this, it says 20 gauge is 7508. So that's your blue, your gray. Okay, so blue and gray are going to be your 20 gauge. And that would be these ones over here. So let's go ahead and do one blue, one gray. Okay, there's blues and I often do this um, when I'm ch setting polarity um, even though you have colors usually on your wiring I usually use different colors for polarity just because it helps somebody remember when they're hooking things up especially if they're power wires so let's go ahead and put these guys back in the kit and so let's go right here. We'll do red to blue. So you twist the wires like so. Make sure they're nice and straight. And then you're going to put the wire 
in the fair rule and it's going to slide all the way up so the insulation touches the metal and then you're going to take your crimper slide the fair rule in up to the plastic give it a crimp and on some of the larger ones i'll give it a second crimp okay so there's that one they're nice and quick and easy i love this so the cool thing about wire fair rolls is if you cut them too long like you strip back too much wiring it'll just stick out the end of your crimp and you can just cut it off which Luckily, you have the tool to do so included in the kit. Here we go. All right, so now I have two perfectly crimped on. Yeah, those are on there pretty good too. So the way that they're used is you're going to take your screw down terminals, which these ones right here are gonna be my power, my input power. You place them in. Let's go ahead and loosen up the terminal blocks first, of course. All right, so let's place them in. Clarity in mind, right? Did I not loosen that guy enough? I didn't. Okay. All right, and this one's not going in all the way. Why not? Doesn't really matter. This is just for a demonstration. If this was a final installation, it would be a little bit different. Okay, and then you just screw down your terminals. There we go. And I have permanent connections right there. Look at that. They're nice and strong too. So the cool thing about putting fair rules on, not only is it more professional, not only can the wire handle the full current at the connector, which normally pushing the wires in damages your, your conductor, but also, let's say you're troubleshooting. If you're troubleshooting, you can pop one of these guys out quite easily. See that? And all it does is the screw down terminal crimps it a little bit, but that's okay, that's, that's good. It's contributing to the crimp. But if I'm troubleshooting, I can pull this out, put it back in as many times as I want. And you can't do that if you just, if you just strip back wires. Let's go ahead and do it on this guy. There we go. We got this one. We got this one. Let's also strip it at 20 gauge. Okay. So let's go ahead and test what that is like if we just do wires screwed down properly because that is something that has to happen, you know. Um, normally you would twist these wires, but I, I crimped them, I stripped them back so well. Oh, and it's already creating a problem. Here, let me get it up close on camera so you can see. So fair rolls also solve one other problem that happens all the time with screw down terminals. And that is when some of your conductors, as you're inserting them, they will fray out. And you can see right here, you see on my black lead, you can see one of the conductors right there, it frayed off to the side and that has the potential to create intermittent failures or short circuits to the next neighboring terminal. So by using fair rules, which I'm going to straighten this guy out, let's go ahead and get a 24 gauge, I believe it's 24 gauge, or 22 gauge. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab a correct fair rule for this. Here we go. We crimp it. Now look at that connection. Now I can safely put the wire into the terminal, screw it down, and I do not have to worry about any of those pieces of conductor touching the neighboring terminals. And like I said, if I need to troubleshoot or change out parts, I can do so easily as many times as I want without damaging the wires. Because as you screw down wires and then you pull them out, what happens is you crimp down on the conductor and you begin to work harden it. So you see how the conductor flattened out right there? The conductor flattened out so it's not touching all of the terminals. Some of them are not hitting the screw at all. But every time that the conductor is touched by the screw, it work hardens and they will fray off. Which means when, when conductors work hardened, it means that it becomes more brittle. So now I just twisted it and I push it back in. There's a good chance 
that some of those conductors will break off as I'm tightening it down because I already tightened it down once. Another huge benefit to using these style uh, terminals is it creates a uh, little bit of a strain relief. You can see that the wire wants to bend way up here on the insulation. You see that? Versus this one, notice how the wire wants to bend right where the insulation ends and where the conductor begins. You see that? So this wire here, see how it's flopping all around? It's, it's putting all that strain on those already work hardened conductors right there at the screw. Versus this guy, much more secure connection. So this is a wire fair rule terminal kit and they are very inexpensive. You're talking 30 to $40. Um, the price fluctuates here and there, but uh, I'll go ahead and leave a link in this video description to this exact same kit that I purchased here. I highly recommend that you guys that are have OR lights, any of you that have industrial electronics, like some of those UV lights that are floating around, they have uh, PLC programmable logic controllers inside. They all use these type of screw down terminals. Whenever you have wires that go into these terminals, always use a fair rule. So let's see, this wire right here, this is 14 gauge, you can see right here, uh, 14 AWG. So uh, 14 gauge would be blue. So this is this guy right here, fancy. All right. Let's pull one of these bad boys out. Now this type of conductor right here, this is the ones you can see it, it's a really light gauge and you see how easy it is for those little fibers to booger off. So twist it down really good, put the ferrule on and then kind of give the ferrule a little bit of a twist as you're putting it on and all the conductors will be obvious down here at the end and we crimp it. And these larger ones I usually crimp them twice. That gives me uh, a much better hold. I've never had a problem with them falling off with a single crimp, but sometimes they don't want to fit inside the screw down terminal, especially if I'm using some of these larger conductors. And um, by doing a, a double crimp, rotate it a little bit, crimp it again. By doing the double crimp, now it creates a perfect square on the fair rule and it fits in beautifully into a screw down terminal. So anyway guys, there we have it. Wire fair rule kits. I've done a video on these before, but I never had the kit where the tools are part of the kit. How cool is this? Just put these guys in here. Fair rules back in. Close it up. And you can have that in the corner of your shop, on a, a rack, on your tool cart, wherever it needs to be. And you have everything in one kit. And it's actually a very durable kit. So if you need to do any wire servicing, you can just grab one thing. Normally you have to find your wire stripper. You have to find your crimper. My crimper boogers off all the time because it doesn't really... I don't want to put my terminals in my toolbox. So I'll have my crimper in my toolbox and then... I have my, my wire fair rule sitting at, you know, over by the consumables. I can have this whole kit sitting over by the consumables. Grab it and go. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave a, a link in the video description where you can go and pick this guy up. It's on Amazon. Very inexpensive. The tools themselves felt like they were pretty good quality. So even though it's an inexpensive kit, it's like $30, $40. With the tools, well worth the price. Honestly, you can't beat it. Just one single failure is going to cost you more than that $40. So who wouldn't want a nice professional looking termination like that when usually you end up with terminations like this right here. Lots of failures. Okay. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you like this video. Stay tuned because I have so many videos in the works. I'm going to be releasing them over the next couple days as soon as I can find time. So thanks for watching again guys.